2017 is a year of breakthrough. 2017 is a year that you will remember because your life will be established. This church will be established. This neighborhood will know that you're alive in Jesus Christ. Look at that table. Everyone's weeping and crying. My baby is dead, the mama is saying. The neighbors are crying because the baby, the little girl, is dead. But Jesus cast them out of the room. Jesus said she's not dead. She's only sleeping. <laughs> Is it painting right now? When he fell down, the motorbike fell on him right. and turned and then foot down right. and then still paints in the bottom. Okay, you've got torn uh, ligaments down the bottom. Is it painting right now? Yes, Much pain. <laughs> also the arm. Okay. Lift your arms. <laughs> Reach out to God. This is Lord, we speak to this leg. Right up, down, right up, down, right up, down, up again, down. Any pain there? No pain? No pain. Any pain there? There's still pain here, but there's no pain. No. Okay. Open your hand, close your hand. Any pain? No. Let's go. She is called Teresa. Teresa. She has been sick of cancer. Whereabouts? Point. Mm. It's spread through her body. Yeah. And so, how do you feel now? She feels, she's now breathing well, and the Lord has healed her. Mm -hmm. Any pain? No pain. Okay, pastor's wife. Mama. Holy Jesus. Come here. She has just walked all around the building. Yeah. <laughs> See how she feels when she gets out here. How do you feel? She's only weak, but there's no way there's pain. In. No pain? No pain. I've done nearly everything that's in the Bible. I received this text from Pastor last night. Uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday night. In the moving in the prophetic realm, there was a word of knowledge for two people who had damaged heart valves. One young lady stood up, had very great difficulty in breathing, and God healed her. Another man stood up, and he was standing in on behalf of his brother. And he texted pastor who passed it on to me yesterday, and it says this, Praise God, Dad. I took the anointed piece of cloth. We anointed the cloth, just as Paul did. I took the anointed piece of cloth to my brother, who was having heart valve problem. He just sent me an SMS of how he now feels much better. He can walk long distance much faster than before and do tasks that he couldn't do in recent past. I bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your eyes, Mom? Okay, so it's lost some of its vision. Take your glasses off. Give them to me for a moment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, you've done miracles here tonight. Lord, you've done miracles here tonight. Lord, you've done miracles here tonight. We need another one right now. 
Lord, this left eye is weak. This left eye is stopped working properly. We command it to become strong in the name of Jesus. Those muscles begin to work. Those muscles begin to work right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Thank you. Thank you, Holy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just open your eyes. Hold the Bible. Can you read any of that without glasses? Okay, let's do it with the left eye. Jesus. I can see. Hallelujah! 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 God is good. Amen! Amen! Almighty God, shh, open this eardrum. Open this eardrum. Open this eardrum. Open this eardrum. Come with me, Apostle. Open this eardrum. Open this eardrum. Open this eardrum. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Hallelujah. Look at me. Can you hear that? Be honest. Can you hear that? Yeah, you do. Amen. Amen. She said it, one. Hallelujah! I'm excited because Apostle went this way. He went to someone that had lost hearing. And the new anointing, now it's probably, I'm sure it's happened before, but the new anointing that's on him, open that ear. This is the man of God you now got. Of God in the last 50 years. But in the last 15, 20, 25 years, it's like we've gone into captivity and we're coming back out. And God is, and the people are saying, it's just time to pay. It's just time to build our own houses. We've been in jail. We've been in prison. We've been in captivity. It's time to just let go and have a little bit of fun. Oh, we love God, but, you know, the church can wait. The church can wait. And so the people cry out and say, you know, we're all for God and, and we've repented. Uh, but you know, we've got to have a house to live in. We've got to pay all the little bit of cash we've got in the house we're going to live in. Uh, but we're, our houses are being knocked down. Our harvest is no longer there. You know, we're living in hardship. We've got to rebuild. We've got to rebuild. And God comes along. And he says this, is it time for you yourself to dwell in your houses and the temple to lay in ruins? Is it time just to come to church and have a little bit of fellowship and, and give all goosebumps up and down our back and, and run around and, 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 and do the things that we're doing? Or is it time to shake this nation of Kenya? Is it time to see the biggest revival that this nation has ever had? Is it time to build the house of God again? I'm not talking about this tent. I'm talking about this nation. You see, this church from this day forth goes beyond this church. 
this church from this day forth. The commission to this church from this day forth is now a nation church.